You know, as an American, I will always believe in the USA. As an American, I will always believe in the right to pursue happiness and to have the American dream. We are the biggest nation in the world, and we set an example for the rest of the world. Unfortunately, we have a president who has the mentality of a two-year-old and cannot be an adult and accept that he had lost. Losing is a part of life, and it's everything that people teach their kids at two years old. It is something that you live with throughout your life. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But when you lose, you have what we call grace. And you step up and you step away. You accept it and you move on. That's what being an adult is. That's what being a human and part of humanity, as well as being part of the United States of America. We don't take our toys and piss in the sandbox. If anything, we step up and we do what's best for the American people. Today should be a simple process that is the end result of a process, a constitution, and a natural transition from one power to the next. People that are doing and listening to a man that has the mentality of a two-year-old that can't comprehend that he holds the most powerful position in the world. He obviously doesn't deserve that title anymore, nor should he ever be allowed to be a president again. He needs to go on TV and tell his lunatics to stop and to go home. But more than anything, he needs to be a man and step up and do what's right for the American people in the United States of America. Whether he agrees with it or not, it's no longer about his ego or his childish fantasies or his disillusion. It's about 2021 starting with a new hope. It's pathetic and it's a disgrace to humanity to the President of the United States. And I know that God is going to handle it. Because in the end, this pathetic man will answer to God. In Jesus' name.